go. Insulation is in. Closed cell on. Good morning, friends. Um, moving on to the next phase of our huge shuttle bus uh, build here in Florida. Uh, insulation was completed the, the other day. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get set up. We actually have a, uh, it's really hot here in Florida, as many of you know, and uh, crazy humid. And so uh, we actually have a air conditioner that we've got mounted up in the front window. Um, and now with this insulation, it's actually pretty comfortable in here. So. I'm gonna actually set up in here with my horses and do the remaining rough framing. Close cell phone. Suddenly much cooler in here. It is. <laughs> All the original rough framing to, to be ready for the insulation is completed. So um, a lot of blocking, all the filling in. Um, these walls, the existing original walls had an inch and a half thick of uh, styrene, polystyrene insulation in them, like this. And we just added another inch and a half, almost, uh, yeah, at least another inch and a half. So we're looking at uh, R14, R15-ish now for everything. Um, the ceiling did not have, it had some poorly sprayed foam. Uh, I added two half inch layer li uh, sections of, of plywood here for my uh, or my rafters in this case um, and then they filled voids where they had missed uh, there's a there was a void down in behind this there was a track back here and they did just a horrible job I'll refer to that in the other photos here another video but uh, basically went through closed cell foam sprayed all up here in the uh, over the cab area. Some of the rough framing in. We got our bathroom wall here, uh, the main bathroom wall, and sort of bedroom wall, and then that's the other side, half wall. But uh, this is leaving 75 and a half inches for a full mattress, 70, which is 75 by uh, 54. Got uh, some of our panels up, covering up our uh, rough framing. A lot of this will be covered up by cabinetry um, and uh, this side over here and stuff, but uh, getting a bunch of that done, but also got the, uh, the two main full two by four walls built, um, both sides of the bed here, essentially. Again, this one is a, obviously just a short wall. Got a full wall on the other side for the bathroom on that side. This is her uh, water tank. So I'm gonna work on uh, getting this all dialed in working out all the details here of the bed frame and the storage underneath it. The top part of the bed, um, it's kind of neat. What she actually found these uh, slats were from uh, bed frames and uh, that people are like futons or beds that people had discarded. And she saw, uh, you know, on the side of the road or different locations where people were getting rid of them. Uh, they were the kind that had, they were longer than this and they had those straps kind of attaching them so you could flap them up, fold them together. Uh, but instead of just putting them like that, we wanted to have a little more of a permanent setup. So got a couple of uh, one by one by threes for the framing of it, and then uh, just cut them all to size. Use the old Craig jig to combine them. And rather than doing it in one big, huge, uh, uh, you know, piece that can lift up, uh, I did it in two. And because the water tank is in the back behind all this, so the first part here is accessible to all this. They have this huge storage area all here. Uh, the water tank then is there, so water pump and all of that good stuff, and uh, well, all those controls are all going to happen down underneath here. But uh, got basically the tank all secured down solid under there, and uh, if need be, that's also accessible, and even a little room for some more storage if possible or if necessary up on the top here, you know, for some old, some extra sheets or blankets or things like that here and on top of the water tank. So 
All kinds of storage there. Working on our electrical closet. Um, her batteries have come in. Check these bad boys out. She has four of these 206 amp hour SOK lithium iron phosphate batteries. Beasties. So we kind of designed this uh, part of the cabinet to uh, fit all four of them right in here. This one is uh, fits right in. I cut, I put some nice little, little blocking in to kind of hold them in at the bottom down there. Keep a nice little bit of a three quarter inch spacing between them all. And then all of our electrical systems and stuff will all be on this, these walls back here in the closet. This space on the end over here, it's actually gonna be for a cat litter box. Um, our composting toilet is gonna be right here at the end. And so we're gonna have a fan for uh, helping to evacuate those odors and keep it dry so it actually works out we're going to combine both so that the cat litter box and the human litter box are both venting out the same place so got some more framing now to do i'm going to create a small little bench seat kind of here in front of this and then uh, frame out the rest here so that uh, you'll have room for a, a cabinet for some tools on the end here and then the whole closet right the, up in the middle here for all the electrical. Well, hey guys, uh, another good day, productive day here on this uh, big shuttle bus build. Uh, got most of the bed, the uh, top of the bed finished out and also worked on the entry uh, storage uh, closet. And uh, there's also a spot here for the cat litter box. Uh, basically, uh, I wanted a spot where I don't have it so that you can open this one up straight up this way and slide the main box all the way in uh, to well back inside there but there's space here in front of it uh, but you didn't want the access being aiming right at the front door so put this little guy over here <laughs> little side door so he can cat can go in here have a little room to maneuver and go right into the cat box it'll be down in there other part again setting up in the bus here it's big enough that i'm able to do this got our little ac blowing up front here kind of in the front window let me show you that here it's a little 5000 btu air conditioner blowing and so that's blowing in and uh i got the fan kind of kicking it out here to the rest of the bus so that uh it actually does a little something and yeah, it's i decided to bring my thermostat in here it's about 10 30 in the morning here in south florida it is already 84 degrees outside and quite humid but again with the, uh, the unit all insulated and our little air conditioner up in the window up there we are actually oh, 85 outside 77 in here so definitely a nice uh, nicer space to work in could be a lot worse Pretty, pretty pink uh, trunk on it and everything. Yeah, but then the flowers are pretty yellow. Yeah. Well, good morning from the big shuttle bus build. Got some good progress. Uh, had a nice weekend off, but uh, let me yeah, show you where we're Yeah, got this part framed out. Again, we've got our uh, bench seat here. Got a spot for the uh, cat litter box under here. With a still waiting on our uh, our shower pan. That's going to be as you kind of where the tape line is. And then I'm gonna have, uh, once we have that, we're gonna build in our composting toilet set up right at the back of it. Anyway, hope that was, uh, again, useful for you and informative. And again, if you like it, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so that uh, you can follow along on this entire big shuttle bus uh, build and all the other details that'll be coming up. Thanks for watching.